Sutra. In a single thought, he makes offerings to boundless Buddhas and also makes offerings to numberless living beings. He uses incense, flowers, and wondrous garlands, jeweled banners, flags, canopies, and superior garments, flavorful food, thrones of gems, and promenades. All kinds of palaces are totally adorned. There are Varutrana, wondrous precious pearls, and as you will, monies which produce dazzling light. In thought after thought like this, he presents them as offerings, passing through measureless compass, which are ineffable. This person's accumulation of blessings, though great, is not as great as the merit and virtue from bringing forth the might. Of all the various analogies which can be spoken, none are able to reach the Buddha might. The honored ones among humans in the three periods of time are all born from bringing, bringing forth the resolve. Bringing forth the mind is without obstruction and without a particular limit. Those wishing to find its measure cannot attain it. He vows to certainly perfect the wisdom of all wisdom. So all living beings are crossed over forever. Commentary in a single thought, he makes offerings to boundless Buddhas. The Bodhisattva relies on the power of his spiritual penetrations to make offerings to all the measureless, boundless Buddhas of the ten directions and the three periods of time, and also makes offerings to numberless living beings. He also makes offerings to all other living beings. What does he use to make offerings to them? He uses incense, flowers, and wondrous garlands, jeweled banners, flags, canopies, and superior garments. He uses all of those kinds of wondrous articles as offerings to the Buddhas and living beings. Flavorful food, thrones of gems, and promenades, he offers the most superior tasting food and drink, the most expensive land thrones, and all kinds of promenades which are adorned with rare jewel. All kinds of palaces which are totally adorned, each of them is especially adorned. There are Varotrana wondrous precious pearls, and as you will monies which produce dazzling light. As you will pearls and many precious pearls produce a glorious light which shines on and dazzles the walls. In thought after thought like this, he presents them as offerings. In thought after thought like this, he uses all kinds of the most expensive and rare treasures to make offerings to the Buddhas and living beings, passing through measureless compass which are ineffable. He makes those offerings passing through ineffably ineffable, measureless compass, this person's accumulation of blessings, though great, is still not as great as the merit and virtue from bringing forth the might. This person's blessings are very, very great, yet they don't compare with the merit and virtue from the person who has brought forth even the Buddha might. The latter, by comparison, is even greater than the former. Of all the various analogies which can be spoken, none are able to reach the Buddha mind. All of humankind's analogies cannot compare with the Buddha mind, which goes beyond them. The honored ones among humans in the three periods of time, all Buddhas of the three periods of time, are all born from bringing forth the resolve. All Buddhas of the three periods of time have come into being because of bringing forth the Bodhi mind. Whoever brings forth the Bodhi mind will quickly become a Buddha in the future, and whoever doesn't will become a Buddha more slowly. Bringing forth the mind is without obstruction and without a particular limit. The merit and virtue from bring forth the body mind is within any impediment whatsoever, and it doesn't have a fixed limit. 
Those wishing to find its measure cannot attain it. If you wish to know how great the merit and virtue from bringing forth the mind is, that is impossible. Its measure cannot be obtained, and it is ineffable. He vows to certainly perfect the wisdom of all wisdom. The Bodhisattva vows to certainly perfect the wisdom of all modes. So all living beings are crossed over forever. He vows to cross over all living beings forever. Sutra. Bringing forth the mind is like empty space. It produces merit and virtue, which is the same as the Dharmarium. All that is done pervades everywhere throughout, uh, without a difference. Forever separating from the multitude of attachments, he is equal to the Buddha. Of all Dharma doors, none are not entered. He is able to go to all lands. The states of all wisdom are totally penetrated, as all merit and virtue he perfects. He is able to renounce everything continuously and forever. He is pure in the categories of precepts and without any attachments, replete with unsurpassed great merit and virtue. He is always diligent and vigorous without retreating. He enters profound dhyana concentration and is always meditating. His vast wisdom mutually responds. This is the Bodhisattva's most supreme ground, which produces all the paths of universal worthy. Of all the thus come ones of the three periods of time, there are none who are not mightfully protective of one who first brings forth the might, completely by means of samadhi, dharani, spiritual penetrations and transformations he is adorned. Commentary Bringing forth the mind is like empty space. As it is said, the Bodhisattva's nature contains the universe. His measure pervades reals as many as sand grains. So by bringing forth the vast body mind and empty space are just the same. It produces merit and virtue, which is the same as the Dharmarium. The merit and virtue which is produced from bringing forth the body mind equals the Dharmarium. All that is done pervades everywhere without difference. Every activity of the Bodhisattva pervades the Dharma realm, yet although they pervade the Dharma realm, his heart has no attachments. To a Bodhisattva, having is the same as not having, and pervading the Dharma realm is the same as not pervading the Dharma realm. Forever separating from the multitude of attachments, he is equal to the Buddha. The Bodhisattva has separated from all the attachments which living beings have. His liberation is equal to the Buddha's. Of all Dharma doors, none are not entered. The Bodhisattva who has brought forth the Buddha mind has understood, understood and deeply entered all of the 84,000 Dharma doors. He is able to go through all lands. He is able to reach all Buddha lands of the ten directions, make offerings to all Buddhas, and teach and transform living beings. The states of all wisdom are totally penetrated. The Bodhisattva has penetrated without obstruction. All of the Buddha's states of all wisdom, as all merit and virtue, he perfects. He is also able to perfect all of the Buddha's merit and virtue. He is able to renounce everything continuously and forever. He is able to forsake all that is difficult to renounce, and he is able to continuously without cease practice the Dharma door of giving. Moreover, he is pure in the categories of precepts and without any attachments. He doesn't just practice giving, he also upholds the precepts. He is able to purely uphold all of the divisions of the precepts, yet he is not attached to doing so. Replete with unsurpassed great merit and virtue, because he doesn't have any attachments, his merit and virtue is even greater, and he perfects full and complete, unsurpassed great merit and virtue. He is always diligent 
and vigorous without retreating. He is constantly cultivating the Dharma door of vigor. His all, he always cultivated the Dharma doors of patience and vigor without turning back. He enters profound dhyana concentration and is always meditating. He also cultivates profound dhyana concentrations, which is also one of the six parameters. He meditates and cultivates his vast wisdom mutually responds. His vast measureless, limitless prana wisdom mutually responds and is perfected fused. This is the Bodhisattva's most supreme ground. This is the most supreme behavior and vow power of the Bodhisattva who has brought forth the mind which produces all the paths of universal worthy. Because he has brought forth the Bodhi mind, he brings forth all of the paths which universal worthy practices. That is the path of the king of great conduct. Of all the first come ones of the three builders of time, all of the Buddhas of the ten directions and the three builders of time, there are none who are not mindfully protective of one who first brings forth the mind. All Buddhas are protective and mindful of the Bodhisattva who has first brought forth the body and completely by means of Samadhi Dharani. All the Buddhas of the Ten Directions and the Three Buddhas of Time use the aiding power of Samadhi and Dharani to help this Bodhisattva. By spiritual penetrations and transformations, he is adorned. The Buddhas use all kinds of spiritual penetrations and various changes and transformations to adorn the Bodhisattva who first brings forth the Bodhi mind. Sutra, living beings of the ten directions are without measure. World systems and empty space are also like this. Bringing forth the mind is without measure and unsurpasses them. Therefore, it is able to produce all Buddhas. The Buddha mind is the basis of the ten powers. It is also the foundation of the four eloquences and fearlessnesses. The eighteen uncommon dharmas are also like this. There are none which are not obtained from bringing, bringing forth the mind, the characteristics of the Buddha's form, their bodies of adornment, as well as their equal and wondrous Dharma body, wisdom, non-attachment, and the one who is worthy of offerings, all by means of bringing forth the mind come to be. Commentary Living beings of the ten directions are without measure. Living beings are very many. They are measureless and limitless. World systems are empty space are also like this. Living beings are measureless and empty space is also measureless. Bringing forth the mind is without measure and unsurpasses them. Bringing forth the body mind is also measureless, but it exceeds the measurelessness of living beings world systems and empty space spoken of previously. Therefore, it is able to produce all Buddhas. Why does it go beyond them? Because all Buddhas have been born from bringing forth the Bodhi mind. It is the mother of all Buddhas. The Bodhi mind is the basis of the ten powers. The ten powers obtained by the Buddhas have come about from the Bringing forth the body mind, bringing forth of the body mind. It is also the foundation of the four eloquences and fearlessnesses. It is also the foundation of the four, for the four unobstructed eloquences and the four fearlessnesses. The eighteen uncommon dramas are also like this. The body mind is also the basis for the eighteen uncommon dramas. There are none which are not obtained from bringing forth the mind. All of these various dramas are obtained from bringing, bringing forth the body mind. The characteristics of the Buddha's from their bodies of adornment. The Buddha's 32 marks and 80 kinds of the fine characteristics and all of their bodies of adornment, as well as their equal and wondrous Dharma body, that is their 
body of quality and wondrous dharma body all come into being from the buddhi mind also wisdom not attachment and the one who is worthy of offerings this refers to the wisdom body the body of non-attachment and the body which is worthy of offerings all by means of bringing forth the mind come to be from bringing forth the body mind one is able to obtain all of this body mind one is able to obtain all of these various wondrous dharma bodies of the buddha